Last year, October, Nation quoted William Ruto saying this, October 1st, 2023. During my trip to the U.S., I visited Google, Intel, and Apple. They are looking to hire 100,000 to 300,000 people. And these workers will be Kenyans. So when you see our manifesto referring to the digital superhighway, ICT hubs, and hotspots, it's because people want to use these for digital jobs. William Ruto, president of Kenya. That was on October 1st, 2023. About three days ago, two to three days ago, Ruto was in Nyahururu County, where he assured Kenyans that already 1,000 Kenyans have been hired by Google. So his foreign trips are yielding fruits. There is a very interesting news item captured by New York Times, January 11, 2024. Google laid off hundreds of workers in several divisions Wednesday night seeking to lower expenses as it focuses on artificial intelligence and joining a wave of other companies cutting tech jobs this year. The Silicon Valley company laid off employees in its core engineering division as well as those working on the Google Assistant, a voice-operated virtual assistant, and in the hardware division that makes the Pixel phone, Fitbit watches, and Nest thermostats. Three people with knowledge of the cards said. That's news being reported by New York Times. New York Times is reporting that on Wednesday night, Google laid off hundreds of their employees. They are now focusing on artificial intelligence. Ruto, on the other hand, is telling Kenyans that you know Google is going to hire 100,000 to 300,000 Kenyans. I want us to dig deep into this, but before we do that, if you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Character is like pregnancy. You can't hide it. You can pretend for some times, but your true character will eventually emerge. Upon William Ruto being declared the president, he has been lying to Kenyans, but some Kenyans were still giving him the benefit of doubt that maybe it's just a slip of the tongue. It is now coming out very clearly that Ruto is a pathological liar. And a majority of Kenyans are now coming to terms with that reality. The unfortunate bit about it is that William Ruto has not only lied to Kenyans, but is now lying to the whole world. A few months ago, or rather sometimes back, he promised the whole world that Kenya is going to be a visa-free country. So if you want to come to Kenya, just come. Let's listen to how the international media are reporting that issue on free visa to Kenya. It was probably too good to be true. A visa-free Kenya, one of Africa's most popular destinations. President William Ruto had announced the policy last month, but now he's facing a backlash after people started reading the small print like our correspondent Bastien Renouy. So visa or no visa, he explains. Renouy, so visa or no visa, he explains. 
During a speech months ago, Kenya's president said uh, Kenya has a simple message to the world, uh, welcome home, uh, meaning that Kenya will be a visa-free country for every traveler starting on the 1st of January 2024. It was not a big surprise because Kenya's president had been advocating for visa-free Africa, at least for Africans, for a long time now. So Kenya is now officially visa-free, but it does not mean that every traveler can just board a plane and travel to Kenya without any documents. They still have to apply for an ETA, an electronic travel authorization, at least 72 hours prior to departure. Uh, to do so, they have to fill uh, an online form, they have to give a lot of uh, personal information, they have to uh, provide their travel itinerary, and depending on their uh, country of origin, they might have to provide a bank statement. Before the 1st of January, uh, many travelers from African countries could travel to Kenya without a visa. They now have to apply for an ETA, which is costly. Uh, officially, it's $30, but uh, you have to pay for uh, processing fees and bank fees in addition, so in total it's around $35. Before the 1st of January, uh, children could travel to Kenya without a visa. They now have to pay uh, for the ETA as well. So for many people, Kenya is not visa-free at all. It's just a visa uh, by another name. Even the international community and the media have started seeing Ruto as a liar. And just as William Ruto is being hated in Kenya, it's just a matter of time. This man will be seen as a con man internationally. He has lied to Kenyans. He is now lying to the international community. He has lied to the international community that you can just come to Kenya. He has indeed introduced visa through another form, as has been explained by that journalist. What does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? Ruto has a serious problem. His integrity is seriously questioned. And honestly, I just don't understand what our elected leaders are doing, the members of parliament, the senators. This is a candidate for impeachment. Ruto is surely not fit holding a public office. Our parliament is letting us down. Ruto should be impeached. And now to Kenyans, before you elect a leader, a leader's track record is very, very important. All signs were very clear, even before William Ruto became the president, that he never met that threshold on leadership and integrity. And that's what is now just exposing itself with him now as the president. He's clearly embarrassing this country. Lying to Kenyans that he has gotten for them jobs with Google, while Google is laying off its employees, that's a person who is not fit holding a public office. And it appears he does not bother. He'll still be lying. <laughs> Even as I talk right now, Ruto is still lying to Kenyans, and some are still believing him. Kenyans should actually wake up. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I did in the cave when we were starting, if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Any person who may want to support us, Contact me through that number below. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Wakatu ara sergale na na taka sisi. Wakatu a chungu ni ni munaka. Na ufika wakatu a seyasa ni mla kujenga kusema utuwa metu aman. Sisi da chunga kila mali ni ni muendo yumban. Na ni ni muna yendo wuga kwa stare Nairobi ni muna yendo fika story ni muna kula. Now, now, what to wait to another Mistun? What's the ruta?
Tulingangano sana upika yeye kura. Na yeye anakaa stage kama anaitwa nani kweli? Eh? Yeye ndio ukao huko mtani huko nasikia tu Rusales. Kama nyinyi mnafikiri kama nyinyi mnafurahia? Kama unafurahia siwaambie tu sisi alafu sisi tuchue kama hakuna serikali. 